Welcome to my DIY bedroom music studio. Freebie. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. Now, for the last few videos here at Freebeat, I've been uh, tricking some of you. Uh, those of you who have been around for at least a couple months uh, probably know that for, well, the last couple months, my studio has been in my friend Oliver's shed, and I've had this uh, wonderful desk, which was... Uh, uh, graciously donated to me by Mike Pounder, or the funds to purchase it were, so shout out to him uh, for the desk. But uh, yeah, I've been working out of Oliver's shed with my MPC and my Livetrack L12 and all of my gear just right here. Uh, well, for the uh, past couple videos, I've actually been moved back home into my apartment. So, uh, I figured today we would do a little studio tour. So, uh, this is the bedroom of the one bedroom apartment that I live in with uh, my girlfriend, Lady Freebeat. And, uh, this is, uh, her side of the bed with her crafting stuff over here. And, uh, this is my side of the bed. And this is where, uh, Freebeat really, uh, got its legs. And this is where Freebeat, uh, is once again producing content from. So, the reason I moved back was because uh, there is a huge construction project going on just a couple blocks from Oliver's house uh, and it was so loud that I couldn't even get rid of the like the rumbling noise in post and it just was not going to work at all for my content. Uh, it was also very hot this summer uh, in there with no AC in the shed and now we're actually projecting that we're going to have a very cold winter here so I was not about to uh, try and deal with that. So it just made more sense for at least the winter to move my small studio setup back home. As you can tell, the studio is broken up into two main sections. Over here, we have the Dawless side of things here. And this is uh, the desk that you guys have known for the past couple months. Uh, this is where I film. This is my camera mount. It's actually a drum stand with a tripod. I did a video uh, on that uh, when we moved into the shed. I've got my camera in its bag down there on the shelf. That just slots right in there and I can move it around. Uh, I've got these cheap little Emart uh, lights that uh, do a pretty good job of keeping everything lit. Uh, I've got my keyboard stand back there for the live shows. Got uh, Baby Yoda Grogu on a uh, coaster there. Uh, yeah, so the idea with this setup, uh, with this desk, is that I wanted everything to be immediately accessible. One of the problems with my last setup was that I felt like I had to basically go and pull teeth to try and use anything that wasn't immediately on the desk. So my solution to that was this power strip here and everything I have is plugged into that. All of my power for all my devices. And uh, it's very, very easy. I'm not gonna show you guys back down there cause it's kind of unorganized, but it's very easy to just pull out the proper plug, grab the piece of gear that I need off this uh, three tier shelf and start using it. I've got a pair of quarter inch inputs right there uh, that go to my live track L12 that are on channels nine and 10 there. And then I also have an eighth inch uh, jack right there, which goes to a splitter, which are channels 11 and 12. Did I say 10 and 12? I'm not sure. Nine and 10 for the quarter inch, 11 and 12 for the uh, eighth inch. So I can very easily plug in whatever I need and use it at the desk and capture audio for my videos. This is what I use to capture all my audio, the Zoom Livetrack L12. It is just a beast of a board and uh, I'd be lost without it. I don't know why I didn't get one sooner. It's incredible. I do have my headphones plugged in right here. Uh, as you can see, there's five different headphone outs. Uh, but yeah, this board is awesome. We will come back to it in just a minute. Uh, down here, I have all of my gear. So we got the Model D, Volca Keys is in the Volca drum box down there, the Micro Freak on the bottom, Model Cycles, OPZ, my Alesis trigger unit, like I said, my uh, filming camera, the uh, pocket operators in the middle case there, and then the Volca drum on top. The MPC sits on the desk, always plugged in, so it's always ready to go at a moment's notice. Um, once I'm really done setting things up, I'll probably route one of the outputs of the board back into the inputs of the MPC because I really enjoyed that workflow. I would plug it in via USB to the live track, but uh, the USB port of the live track is going someplace else actually right now. Then of course, I've got my, uh, my new baby here, the OP1 hanging out on the desk. Uh, yeah, 
This is my microphone that I use. Uh, I finally settled on one that I think sounds okay. It's the Audio-Technica AT2035 uh, cardioid mic. I quite enjoy it. It's been pretty easy to get decent audio out of it. Um, I'm still kind of playing around with some settings that I can use in post to make it sound better, but for the most part, I'm very happy with it so far. Uh, just past these blinds here, well, there's too much condensation on the window, but uh, is a very busy road. So while I don't have to deal with the construction noise itself, I do have to deal with dump trucks driving by about every five minutes or so. And with this mic, I've found that I can pretty easily uh, edit most of that out. Sometimes it picks up the hum of the upstairs neighbor's AC, um, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. Nobody's said anything or complained yet in the comments, so we're just gonna roll with it. So now we move on to the other part of the studio, which is the computer. So right down here is the computer. Uh, I built this last summer. It's an old, awful case, but I've got a Ryzen 5 3600X and 32 gigs of RAM in there. Uh, I think with a GTX 650, super old uh, graphics card, but I don't edit videos on this computer, so it doesn't super matter. Got some just leftover cabling and bags there. Um, this space right here, the uh, base will probably go there once I get it back from Oliver's. Uh, this is a tripod that I'm gonna use to hopefully start doing maybe some videos at the computer. Uh, this is a brand new type of setup for me. This desk right here used to be where I filmed all of the Freebeat content. And so uh, I always felt very cramped and like I didn't have room to actually make music at this desk. I made most of my music on the couch on the OPZ because that was comfortable for me. But uh, as you can see, since I'm not filming here, this has kind of given me the opportunity to set up a little Ableton uh, workspace here. So I've got my uh, Launch Control XL, my Keystep 37, and my Launchpad Mini Mark III with a copy of Ableton Live Lite. Uh, I figure, you know, it's not going to hurt anything if I learn the software and, uh, you know, just further my knowledge as an electronic musician. So, uh, yeah, I've also got my Roland SPD-SX right here, the sampler pad. This has been the star of all the live shows, and uh, it'll probably continue to put in work at those live shows. Uh, I figured having it on the desk would be nice because I can uh, drum with some sticks if I need to. Um, and I can easily transfer samples because the computer's right here. So, yeah. Also, really quick, over in this setup, I do have that Yamaha kick pedal down there for finger drumming with the MPC-1. Okay, back to the computer. I've got all these cables uh, that I need and use in videos, so it's super easy to just grab one and come over to this setup, use it like that. Yeah. So, uh, audio for the computer is actually going through the Zoom LiveTrack L12 on channels nine and 10 here. There's this little glowing USB button. I can actually push that and it'll toggle between taking computer audio or taking audio from channels nine and 10. So when I'm working over here, I can just press it and now it's taking channels nine and 10, which are these two leads right here. Or if I'm working at the computer, I can push it again and now it's taking audio from the computer. So very, very cool, super handy. The headphone cable is really long and it reaches over here no problem. I've also got a long mic cable here, so I'm able to set the microphone on the desk over here with no problem. So filming videos at the computer might actually happen. Another coaster over here, by the way, uh, the Mandalorian, Din Djarin. I like Star Wars. And I actually found an old action camera that I have, and I think I might try to put it somewhere up here and uh, have it be an overhead camera for working at uh, the computer, so that might be fun too. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys are down for some computer content. Could be a new direction for the channel. Like most other things here at Freebeat, I'm not very good at it, but uh, might be fun to see my process and watch me learn, perhaps. I'm not sure. And uh, that's basically the miniature studio tour here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Got my drum thrown for sitting. Uh, the electric drum kit is still at Oliver's. Um, in the shed. It's not even set up right now either. Uh, I'm not sure when that will get put back uh, into use, but uh, kind of giving it a break uh, right now and just focusing on the channel and uh, the content that you guys want to see. So uh, yeah, don't worry. I can still play drums here. I can still finger drum over here. I could plug the pedal into this if I want, so I can still get my drumming fix if I need it. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with how everything came together, uh, the two different workspaces, and uh, I'm excited to produce here. So uh, hopefully the noise of the road over there and uh, the bunny rabbit here. Hi. 
don't uh, <laughs> make it too hard to film videos. If you guys hear what sounds like a rabbit drinking or very loud cars going by or rabbits kicking or rabbits making noise in general, uh, just know, yes, that's what you are hearing. I don't think it's been too much of a problem in the few videos I've been back here, but uh, yeah, that's the tour. I hope you guys liked it. Maybe I inspired you to uh, organize your setup a bit differently, or maybe I inspired you to keep it the way it is because it's so much better than mine. That's the likely option. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.